All right, hello everybody, this is Hybrid, and today I'll be bringing you a review of Amazing Spider-Man number 688, and I will, I guess, apologize in advance if this is annoying, but this will be my kind of like a speed review-ish, because honestly, I have a few more reviews I'd like to get out today. My computer takes a while to render, so I can put out more reviews via, first off, making the video shorter, and well, yeah, just making the video shorter, less, um, I guess, size amount that it needs to render and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get started. So you start off, first two pages, the lizard fighting. You're not sure why yet, but they reference a past issue where basically a bunch of people were left with Dr. Connors and Spider-Man allowed Dr. Connors to roam in the sewers, and then they also reference the fact that, you know, the lizard ate Dr. Connors' son, so... Not the best thing. Then page number three. You have, you know, them still fighting and everything. Oh, this is the page where he references the lizard eating Billy Connors and killing him. Or not, I'm not sure if he ate him, but I know he killed him, which is still messed up. So, yeah. And then, you know, spider Man still saying that, you know, like, he doesn't have his no one dies thing anymore because, you know, Silver Sable died. But yeah. Then we go to page number four. Eight hours earlier you know Horizon Labs crew with the whole ends of the earth thing that's over and basically you know they're coming back they're seen as heroes because they kinda saved the day then you know they're being you know still like they're heroes then you get them then Peter Parker gets an invite to Mary Jane's own nightclub at, now we're at Mary Jane's nightclub <laughs> at Mary Jane's nightclub you know she pulls Peter aside Peter's um, kind of wondering you know this is kinda of weird how everybody he basically knows is there and then Mary Jane pulls him aside saying this is a party for him and that you know the world didn't explode he saved the day stuff like that they talk about the whole I guess you know no one dies thing Mary Jane says oh, sorry Mary Jane says that's stupid because that's too much like, it's like too big of a thing to really live up to and it's basically impossible to not have someone die especially when you think about what they're doing constantly but yeah then it goes back to now spider-man punching lizard in the sewer and lizard seemingly enjoying it because I guess he wants a fight then you have you know spider-man pulls out a harpoon he calls this a hunt which is interesting because I hear Craven the hunt will be showing up soon but yeah so he stabs him with the harpoon we don't know why he had a harpoon in the first place yet but we will learn soon then we go to four hours ago. Um, you know, they're still talking, and my and my friend um, was reading this. He was like, "I expected the ringtone to be call me maybe," but you know what? I don't care what his ringtone is. Really, he's Peter Parker. He can do whatever he wants, right? And then yeah, so Carly calls him his ex-girlfriend, who's also a cop, and yeah, so basically he get, turns into Spider-Man and swings over to the cemetery. Whew. At the cemetery, a half hour later, um, you show Spider-Man. He comes up and ask Carly yo what's up she says that someone dug up William Connors grave or not grave but body and that the people who like you know dug him up described him as you know someone called Morbius a living vampire so then we go to Horizon Labs where Morbius is at currently and Peter Parker also works there so of course he know that and you know he's pretty pissed so he goes see Morbius they go to Morbius they see Connors son's body you know, Spider-Man gets pretty pissed, slams Morbius into a wall. Morbius explains that he needs it to make the cure for the lizard. So you know what, Spider-Man's like, you know what, I hate you, but you know, if it helps, it helps. So let me go back to now again, because it keeps on flashing back and forth. You have the lizard hitting Spider-Man with his tail. And then it turns out that this whole time, it was just a ploy to, I guess, for Morbius and the, a bunch of other people who you'll see later get the lizard out in the open so they can make a cure and it turns out the harpoons are part of that cure so basically now we have Morbius in the fight and he stabs Dr. Connors or the lizard and then we go back to two hours ago again man a lot of flashbacks and it turns out that you know they explain how the serum's gonna work it's partially based off of the serum from the spider island event if you didn't watch it, you really didn't miss anything besides the part where Kane became the new Scarlet Spider. Well, 
Never mind. You didn't miss anything besides the fact that Kane's not disfigured anymore. He's like Ben Riley. So yeah, moving on. All right. So then they explained it some more. Good stuff. Um. Yeah. So now they have a plan. It's gonna be Spider-Man, Morbius, and a few Horizon crew members going down to basically stab the lizard with harpoons, which in them have serum that will supposedly take out the lizard forever, which we all know is not gonna happen. But yeah, so we go back to now again. They're all fighting, and the lizard has a bunch of, I guess you could say, serums stabbed into him. And yeah, good stuff. Spider-Man punches him really hard. Finally, doesn't hold back. Thank God. And yeah, so they call it the Horizon people. The Horizon people, you know, they break down the metals of those hypoons and they get the cure into a system with sonic agitators. And then when that happens, they, oh my god, it works. The lizard turns back to Dr. Connors. But little do we know, the lizard's still in there because, you know, different personalities. And yeah, so everybody's celebrating. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. But we all know he's just going to come back later. And then it says to be continued. So, yeah, that's my kind of really, really quick review of it. I am still using my format. Um, art, I give a 4 out of 5. It's better than the previous Amazing Spider-Man artist. No offense to that guy. But I didn't really like his art. Or at least not the one who did spider Island. But, yeah, so 4 out of 5. I still think it could have been a little better at times. But overall, I think it's still pretty good art. The plot. I thought it was a pretty good plot, actually. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I would have appreciated it a little bit more if they didn't keep on flashing back and forth all the time because sometimes it got confusing. But it ended up working out in the end, so I still enjoyed it. Then we have writing. Um, I did enjoy the writing quite a bit. I could at times, I thought, you know, really feel the anger that, you know, Spider-Man was feeling when he learned about the whole gravesite thing. Because if you read the other issues, that was a pretty intense moment for Spider-Man. So yeah. Then characters, 4 out of 5. I like the characters they had in this issue. I also liked how, you know, the characters interact with each other. I'm still not all up for Carly and Mary Jane, basically. Like, they know Peter's secret, which kind of ruins the whole fact of, you know, Brand New Day with no one knowing anymore. But, whatever. But yeah, you know, Mary Jane's Mary Jane, Peter Parker's Peter Parker, Carly's Carly. Everybody's everybody in this issue, so good characters. Um, going on there and then enjoyment 9 out of 10 because I did really enjoy this issue uh, a little bit more than I thought I would and I do like the cover as well so props to whoever came up with the idea for the cover and yeah so this is hybrid and overall give it a 25 out of 30 or 83 percent and yeah so I hope you enjoyed the review check out my other videos subscribe comment and like and see you later with my next one bye